everyone and welcome back to another video of Daskwood. So today I'm I'm going to continue the episode 2 part 3 of Daskwood. So here we are. I did the mini games and now it's time for spy mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. What deal? That's interesting. Really, really interesting. I have absolutely no idea. You can't find out with your hacking steals. Um. Whatever it was, it sounded highly suspicious, so... There are two things that I really want to answer, so... The first choice, or the first option, and the last one, the third one. So, really honestly, I don't know which one to answer, because both answers are actually pretty good. So... I'm going to say whatever it was, it sounded highly suspicious. Maybe we'll be able to figure out together what it means. I thought it was more than odd that Thomas disappeared after the news of the dead body surfaced. Wait, how did you find out about this? He's currently my main suspect, maybe he was just devastated. Wait, how did you find out about this? I didn't tell you about it. I'm not going to put all my cards on the table for you, at least not right now. Wait. Something else is happening. Who is Poke? How are you doing today, Mr. Anderson? I've got your little message. What? What is going on? Then why the heck are you texting me then? I just wanted to make sure. You're as paranoid as ever, I see. How about you cut it out? Okay, okay, calm down. You know the time and uh, you know the time and place, of course. Perfect. Three hundred fifty. You got it. Three hundred. No way. Uh, oh, I read it. <laughs> I read it wrong. Whatever. <laughs> Likewise. Oh, I'm done. What? I'm sorry about the girl. Me too. Okay, so something's going on here. Hmm. What do you think all of this could mean? It appears Dan is buying something from Shimmer. I don't know. This stranger has been paid to cover the tracks. And for that, he's asking 
she is asking for $350, almost. To me it sounded like Don was purchasing something on behalf of Don, something illegal. What? Don was bending over backwards to make sure that the object in question was not mentioned by name. But does that really have something to do with Hannah? I always know that Anna was up to no good. How can get to the bottom of this? Um, we have to get to the bottom of this. I know. Let me think. I'm going to get the stranger's phone number. Um, and what am I supposed to tell him? I didn't say that the plan was perfect. Can't you try to engage him in conversation, tell him that you got his number from a friend? Either you are going to get somewhere with that or not. In that case, you can always say you texted the wrong number. Doesn't that sound somewhat convincing? Um... We'll see how it goes. Give me a little time to find out the number. Okay. And time for more mini games. Okay guys, let's continue. What do you mean by that? I think the next thing we shall do is find out what drug was prescribed with the script. No, I never heard about it. I think we should get some help from the almighty internet. Go ahead, I will be waiting. <laughs> mm, fine. Okay. So, I guess I'm waiting, right? Two thousand years later. There we go, okay, cool. Was Hannah suffering from depression? I don't think so. No, yet. 
None of this makes sense. I'm going to contact you again later, okay? Is everything okay? Yes. Everything's fine. I don't believe you. Well, we have to talk about this later. Have you gone research a few things? Okay. And more mini games. Okay. Where should they go? What is going to happen when I have nowhere, nowhere else to return? When the fake smile disappears because there are no more feelings left to ignore, the first lies still, but it has not always been like that. Today is one of those days that I have been warned about, a horrible day, when no one told me that the days leading up to this moment will be equally hard to fathom. I know that it will pass, it always does, but it helps not to think about it, today is a horrible day for me. Hmm, interesting. I'm outside of Hannah's apartment. For what? I just came by here by chance. But I don't think it will do any harm to take a look around. At least be careful. You don't have to tell me twice. Even if it may seem this way to you right now, this was not a spontaneous idea on my part. Before I started texting you, I was wondering, will Hannah do the same thing for me? And I'm sure she will. She would have done it the first day as soon as she knew. In that case, good luck. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not breaking in. I know where her emergency key is hidden. Wait. I'm going to call you, as you know two heads are better than one. Oh wow, well, that's creepy. Okay guys, so that's, wow, that's, I don't know even what to say, I'm speechless. So that's episode 2, part 3, I hope you enjoyed. Um, 
Yeah, honestly, I don't know what to say. I'm just really excited to see the episode 3, so look forward to that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, also like this video, I'll appreciate that a lot. And comment down below, who do you think was standing right over there, opening the door in Han's apartment? I mean, besides Cleo, of course. So yeah, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you on episode 3. Alright, bye bye guys. Thank you.